Today we have the NEF6LM, which is the new flaring tool from NAVAC. It's a battery powered tool, super light, the thing's under three pounds. For those of you who have used the NEF6LI, NAVAC is really competing with themselves. They took the industry leading battery powered flaring tool and now they've just made it better in essentially every way with weight being a big factor, but then also they've taken all of the guesswork out of how to make a great flare. So I'm just gonna do a quick step-by-step -step of how to get a great flare every time. This particular tool goes down from quarter inch all the way up to three quarter inch, but today I'm gonna be doing a half inch piece of soft copper. So to start with, anytime you're making a flare, it's a really good idea to deburr the inside of the tubing. And you can use one of these uh, really common blade deburring tools. You can use one of the ones that does the inside and outside at the same time. But the key thing here is don't overdo it and make sure that you do not get the burr into the tube as you're doing it. So if possible, position the tubing in this orientation so that way as you deburr, the burr falls out of the tubing. You get a nice smooth action and you don't want to overdo it because that can thin out the walls, but you want to make sure you get that burr completely out when you're done. Tap it out, make sure that there's no uh, residual left in there. Then we're gonna load it into the half inch clamp. All that we do in order to do that is we just open it slightly. We have a little stop here and this stop prevents it from going too far through so that way we make the right size flare every time. We also are gonna use the gauge at the end to make sure. But all we do is we just slide it in It'll hit the stop and then we allow it to kind of clamp down, make sure that it's all the way in. So I make sure that I've pushed the stop out of the way and then we place it into the flaring tool. And you can see here, it's got some nice indicators and some lines that allow you to make sure that you're completely in place where it needs to be. They're fully lined up. And now I clamp down. So once I get the lines on there exactly where I want them, now I clamp down. And all I have to do is hit this button and now it does the rest of the work. I don't have to worry about how long I hold it down. I don't have to think about anything. I just let it do its thing. Once it gets to the end, it backs back out. Release the clamp, pull it out. And now I've got what looks to be a perfect flare. It's got a nice smooth edge on it because uh, I made sure to deburr it. Open it up and then we check it against a flaring gauge should go in and then stop so it doesn't go all the way through. We know that it's a perfect fit. So between using the NEF 6LM, which takes out most of the guesswork, doing a good job of deburring beforehand and then using the flare gauge when you're done, as well as a visual inspection of the surface, making sure that it's nice and clean, you're gonna make a perfect flare every time. Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed it and got something out of it, if you wouldn't mind hitting the thumbs up button to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notifications bell to be notified when new videos come out. HVAC School is far more than a YouTube channel. You can find out more by going to HVACRschool.com, which is our website and hub for all of our content, including tech tips, videos, podcasts, and so much more. You can also subscribe to the podcast on any podcast app of your choosing. You can also join our Facebook group if you want to weigh in on the conversation yourself. Thanks again for watching.